So Johnny, you won the win today. What was the most pleasing aspect of that one? That we won. That's it at this stage of the season. Um, we knew the uh, we knew the script really. We knew the challenge. We had to try and win all four remaining games starting today. Uh, and it don't really matter how you get it done now. It's about getting it done. So uh, the most pleasing thing here yeah, was to win. But um, like always, the boys giving absolutely everything. You see, and our uh, our hard. They're fighting for everything. Um, another clean sheet, which is a uh, number, I don't know what now, but it's right up there as far as um, rank, ranked in the league. So, uh, yeah, another resolute performance, not our best by any means. Conditions made that really difficult, though, I have to say that. And um, we got the job done. We get the win. We, 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 we keep the season alive. There's three games to go. We have to try and win all of them. But we move it on now to next Saturday with, with, with things still to play for. Yeah, there wasn't a lot in the first half. What do you feel? Changed in the second. Well, we got the wind. That, that definitely helped. Um, it was really, really hard. We was trying to play in the first half, but the conditions. You know, when we did go forward, the ball was holding up, and they was locking us in the half. So we said at half time, well, it's our turn to do that to to Salford, and uh, we did do that. I think we could have done it better. And I think when we made the change, uh, little change of shape, and obviously went to two strikers with with Omar just off of them. I think that helped give us more of an outlet. Two strikers causing um, their back three problems. Um, and we started to turn them a little bit more to use the, the conditions, the wind to our favour, which perhaps probably for the first 15, 15, 20 minutes of the second half we didn't do. So then we got to grips with it and we put them under a lot of pressure um, and we made them defend their box and that's how we get our goal. So um, yeah, I think we was, we was a lot better in the second half. Listen, it wasn't vintage, but. No one's going to remember that now. It's, it's another three points on the board, and we move it on. Were you a bit surprised that they they started Smith on the bench? I didn't know what 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 they would do. To be honest, it, they didn't. He didn't start last week. It was the same team that they played at Swindon, uh, Walsall. Sorry, we've got Swindon next. They played <laughs> Walsall. Watched yeah. a lot of football this year, Chris. You know, <laughs> getting uh, getting confused. But um, their performance was decent. Um, so I wasn't sure whether you know whether they'd keep the, the, the same team, same shape, or or bring Smith in. We know what a threat he is. You've seen how many goals he scored um, this season. So we had a bit of a plan for for either scenario really, because it does sort of affect the way that they play a little bit. Um, obviously they threw him on at the end, um, <clears throat> and he's going to cause problems just because of how big he is and uh, how, how proficient he is in the air. And he won some headers and, and made us defend. But we stuck to our task. We got, you know, we saw it through. Even at the end, there putting our bodies on the line. You know, with their free kick on the edge of the box, Skipper comes up with a block, and that's what, that's what that's what this club's all about. You know, just giving everything for the badge for the call. So uh, the boys will continue to do that in uh, the remaining games, three regular ones. Hopefully, a, a few more. But um, all we can do is keep keep our end of the bargain now, which is to try and keep winning games and, and keep the season alive. And lastly, Jack Curry took quite the whack. How is he? Yeah, he uh, he's sore. He's got a real whack. He's got a real cut. He's a proper defender now. He's got he's got the scars to to show for it. Um, he tried to carry on, but the the, the blood was affecting his breathing, and um, he didn't want to he didn't want to affect us, you know, and and not be at his best. So to be fair to the lad, he made an honest call and said, look, you know, I need, I need to come off here and. It helps when you've got someone of Lee Brown's experience, uh, who's been terrific, hasn't he? And you know, a little bit unlucky to not be in the team, to be honest, Brownie. But you know, you can rely on him, and, and, and certainly today we needed him, and um, he, he helped come in and, and get something right.